Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KG48, and welcome back to Medieval Dynasty. All right, guys, I am just using the house storage as storage for things I don't want to lose. Um, right now, I'm just stockpiling sticks because you know how much I love stick fences, right? Um, because, like, the thing is I'm really worried about running out of firewood and then using up all my sticks. So whenever there's sticks in here, I simply take them out and just store them. And I was thinking, you know, there's a couple different places I could store them, but I think... I think the best storage place is the houses. I actually thought I had some sticks in here. Yeah, I do. It's kind of weird that the logs aren't showing up, but that's okay. All right, guys. Well, welcome back. What are we going to be doing today? All right, we got a lot of stuff to talk about. First of all, I did a lot of off-camera. Um, well, I don't know about a lot, but I did a good amount of off-camera stuff. And most of it had to do with uh, crafting, selling, and making oodles and oodles of money. I didn't mean to take that out. I meant to put it in there. There we go. So as you can see right here, we're almost at 10,000 gold. It wasn't even that hard, all right? What I did was I sold every single seed in the game I had, all right? Grains and seeds all sold, okay? Um, then I made and sold fabric. I made that out of flax. I took flax to the sewing place, made fabric, sold it. Um, the amount of flax you put into the fabric, it, you don't really make that much money on the fabric. I thought it was like maybe like maybe 20 more gold. Like I think one sells for one sells for like 100 and the other one sells for 120 or something like that. It, it wasn't a big like markup um but the thing is the crafting it is a markup i mean it gets you more gold and also not only that but it gets you crafting experience for doing it um so my crafting experience is getting up there um at five thousand points i can make the smithy too that's going to be in a future video um you best believe that um my building is up to eleven thousand six hundred. which once you pass ten thousand, it doesn't mean anything it'd be nice if it meant something like, maybe you could use points to, like, buy stuff instead of gold. I, I don't know. Uh, as a matter of fact, why don't we go ahead and buy that stone fence? Now, nah, you know what? I'll wait until the episode where I'm actually going to use it. All right. Uh, my survival is almost at the Hunting Lodge 2. Uh, Hunting Lodge 2, I can make the um, recurve bow. I heard it's worse than the longbow, but I might make it for just for you guys. And we can make the stone, the stone pike. Now, the, the, wooden, the wooden spear, as you guys saw a video or two ago, was complete trash. Like, I, I used a full wooden spear on a wolf. It broke before the wolf died. So, one wolf. Like, no. <laughs> no thanks. Um, that wasn't doing it for me. Maybe, this, maybe the stone pike will be better. Um, I also made a bunch of potage and sold that. And I also made iron arrows and sold those. So, um, I've got my taxes lined up. I mean, my taxes are pretty high. I think they're getting close to 3,000 gold. Um, but still, even by that, I've got my taxes for the next three years. Now, that, that assumes I don't spend any money, and I will. But still, that's a lot of gold. I can always make more. It's freaking awesome. Okay. Um, oh, who won the street name? Okay, so this street right here is Main Street. I don't know if I made that clear uh, on the street naming episode. This is Main Street, okay? I Oh, look at him coming out. Oh, he's coming out. He's going to the bar, just like his mom. You go, Ziggy. You go. Anyway, this is Main Street, and you guys did name this street. Guys, this vote was incredibly close. In case you guys don't watch every video, um, the video where I made this street, I um, put up a poll, a straw poll, um, for you guys to pick for one or two names. One was Butcher Ave, and in case you guys are wondering, that is from The Boys. And the other one was Paper Street, and in case you were wondering, Paper Street is from one of the best movies ever, Fight Club. But we're not going to talk about that. Um, yeah, th this vote was so close, guys. When I went to bed, it, uh, basically the vote was going to be over when I woke up in the morning. When I went to bed, it was 50-50, and that was with like 430-something votes. So, 400 plus votes, it was 50-50 split right down the line. Paper Street won by like 10 votes. It was 51% Paper Street. So, that's kind of amazing. And a lot of you guys wanted me to name, the, um, name it Autumn Ave, and I wrote that down. I think the next street will be named Autumn Ave. I think that's a pretty cool... What do you think? Autumn Street or Autumn Ave? I like Autumn Ave because they both start with A, but I like Autumn Street because I feel like Autumn Street kind of rolls off your tongue a little bit better. All right, this is neither here nor there. Let's get on with the episode. All right, we're going to do some quests now, and we're also going to... The, the crux of this episode is going to be Food Storage 2. Hell, to the freaking... Yeah, Food Storage 2. And there is actually a Food Storage 3, which I am a million points away from. So, there's that. Man, 7,500. Am I reading that right? Do I only have 1,100 in farming? I might have to do some farming myself. I was hoping not to have to, but yeah, I might have to do some farming myself at some point. The, the farm people are keeping up, but I've been told you get more points if you do things yourself. Uh, if the farmers farm, you still get points. If the crafters craft, you get points. If the if the um, ex extraction team does their thing, you, you still get the points, but you just get less points. 
So um, I might want to do some farming by hand. We'll see about that. Okay. Uh, yeah, well, let's look at some quests on the map. Um, oh, God, there's quests. Every oh, my goodness. There's a lot of quests. And oh, my wow. Dude, that's a lot of quests. Actually, this quest doesn't count. This is, is his name Elwin? I keep calling him Alvin. Um, yeah, this guy's got a quest. It's a long, multi-seasonal quest line. Um, we're probably going to get into that. I reserve the right to change my mind at any point, but I'm thinking about doing, starting that quest next episode. I don't know how much of the quest I can get done in one season, though. Um, Games for Kicks was telling me it's like a multi-seasonal um, quest line, so that means I'm not going to be able to get it all done. You know what? Let's grab some food, and then uh, we're going to look for some quests. How is our food supply? Full. It's always full. But there's 82. Yeah, they're putting cabbage and meat in here. I, I want I want the opportunity to tell people where to put their goods. You know? Um, I'm, st I'm still not 100% on where people put their goods, to be perfectly honest. Um, I know where the uh, where the woodcutter puts his goods. I know where the excavation dude puts his goods. The, the farm and food supply, it's, it's you know... It's, it's, uh, I guess the food supply goes to the food storage. And the farm goes to the food storage as well, or the barn? I don't know. I, I, I see a lot of stuff in the barn, but that might be because the food storage is full. Oh, another thing I, I made a lot of was daub. Guys, daub is so effing heavy. I was going to make a bunch of daub in preparation for a, I don't know, a daub party? I don't know what you would call it. Um, where I'm just going to daub up all the buildings and make them super upgraded and cool. Uh, but the problem with that... The problem with that is Dob is too freaking, it's too freaking heavy, man. Look at that. 71 is 53 freaking weight. The the clay I used to make, although it does take 10 clay. And you get 10, I think you get 10 Dob for 10 clay. I don't remember. Whatever. All right, guys, let's get out and do some quests. All right, first things first, I do have a quest in my own town. Can I help you with something? I might need your help. What is it? I'm about to go hunting, but still lack some equipment. Will you get it for me? Um, sure, that won't take too long. Time to hunt. All right, what do you need, bud? What do you need? Uh, just a stone knife. Okay. Oh, an iron spear. Actually, that's not too bad of a reward. The dynasty rep is a joke. Two dynasty rep? I thought the dynasty rep was supposed to be beefed up. Maybe not for my people. I don't know. But whatever. It's a stone knife, right? <laughs> we might even have one in storage. Why didn't you just get it out of storage? Oh, okay, because I don't have one. God, I don't remember what the stone knife takes. I'm pretty sure it takes two stone... And let's see if I can remember this. Two stone and ten sticks. What do you think? Two rocks. Sorry. By the way, I've got way too much weight in rocks here. I'm going to have to think about um, maybe stopping rock production. Although, there's going to be a lot of buildings that are going to need stone. So, or rocks. Uh, okay. Well, I could give him mine, I guess. But whatever. I'm going to make another one anyway. It was a stone knife, right? <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's early in the morning here. Uh, yes, yeah, stone knife. Okay. Yeah, and I already have one. All right, well, whatever. I'm going to make another one. I'm not even convinced you need a stone knife to harvest animals. Uh, some people were telling me that if you don't have a stone knife, it's like a bug. You could still harvest animals, but whatever. I'm going to have a... I'm going to have one on me. Why not? There you go, bud. Good hunting. All right. So I was just told... I was just... To, I just read the comments on my last video, and someone told me you're going to be super disappointed with the Iron Spear. It sucks. So... <laughs> oh, boy. Eh, what are you going to do? Honestly, the, the bow as a defensive weapon, like, if you're not looking to get in a fight, like, if you're like, I just want to stay out of trouble, I want to get to the next, like, what I'm doing right now, I don't really want to fight anything. What I want to do is I want to get to this to this town, and then I want to get to this guy, this town, and, you know, I want to go to these towns to get the quests. But the thing is, the bow as a defensive weapon is kind of crap, because, you know, most of the time as a defensive weapon, the, the animal, the wolves, basically, are going to see you first, and they're going to attack. And then, like, what good is the bow at that point? I've tried the bow when a wolf is attacking. Let me tell you something. It's absolute shite. It's garbage. Um, so I'm not really sold on the bow as a defensive weapon. If you're going out hunting, yeah, the bow's dope. Um, against deer, against wolves that you've spotted first, against bison. But if you're going out and, like, you're avoiding combat, the, the bow really isn't that useful. I don't, I don't, I don't feel like it is. I mean, I guess if you're wandering through and you spot a wolf and, you, you know, you don't want to try and go around. Those are rare situations, though, I find. All right, good quest practices. <clears throat> Make sure you save anytime you're going to do a quest. Quick save. Okay. What you got? Can I help you with something? Yes, I do need help. I've not been feeling too well lately. I think I might be coming down with something. Could you please bring me some mushrooms or herbs so I can make myself a family cure stew? 
Um, sure. I actually might have some of those. I know I've had people get them. I don't know if I've kept them in my in my base. So let's go back and find out. But yeah, I, I mean, I remember, like, having someone go on, like, that mushroom, like, thing. Um, I don't know if I kept I'm pretty sure I kept them. I don't know why I would have sold them, but I don't know why I do half the things I do. Let's go back and check. Dude, where all my mushrooms go? I just looked through every single chest in, the, in my my little area here. <clears throat> no mushrooms anywhere. I must have sold them by accident. Damn it. That sucks, man. All right. So what I did was I went ahead on the... Where are you? The hunting lodge. And I put both of these guys on gathering. I checked what I need for the quest. I need fly ag agaric mushrooms. Uh, parasol mushroom. And woolly uh, milk cap mushrooms. So I will get all those. Um, what I think I'm going to do is in the meantime, I'm going to go do another quest. Um, should we do the one up here or in Denica? I've gone to Denica quite a bit lately. Uh, let's do the one up here. All right, what is that? That's uh, mostly west, but a little bit north. Mostly west, but a little bit north. There we go. That This should bring us there. If I see any animals, um, I will try and stab them with my new spear. Um, hostile animals, by the way. I'm not going to try and stab a deer because what the hell's the point? They're just going to run away. <laughs> oh, I probably could pick a lot of the mushrooms. What kind of mushroom is this? Oh, yeah. It's the parasol mushrooms. Okay. Well, who knows? I mean, I can, I'll pick them along the way. There's no reason not to. You know, I just don't think I'll get all, all three of them, but we'll see. Stranger things have been known to happen. Oh, what kind of mushroom do you have here? Oh, red pine. I don't need red pine. I wonder if the mushrooms that... Because I've done this... I've gotten this lady's quest before. I wonder if the kind of mushrooms she needs are the same every time. Also, do only certain mushrooms grow at certain times of the year? I know I know some mushrooms only grow... <clears throat> I think that is the case. I'm not sure which ones grow at which time of the year. I want to try stabbing a bison. That could be pretty fun. I was going to hit him with the bow to pull him. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's a pig. I thought it was a... I thought it was a, a a wolf. Dude, okay, so that killed him quick. But did you see how much damage this thing took? Like, I only hit him, like, twice. The animation, like, the attack animation is so kind of borked that I can't really tell how many times I hit him. Well, all right, let's let's uh, let's get one of these bison and watch when I hit him how much, how much uh, damage I lose on this thing, how quickly. Oh. Look at this. Look at this. You can see when I hit... Because the um, spear takes the damage when I hit. Yeah, that thing needs to take about 200% less damage per hit. Like, at least. That's an insane amount of damage. I think I hit... Okay, I think I hit the boar a couple times. Maybe three times. What the hell's going on? Skin. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I think I hit the boar, like, maybe three times. And maybe this guy three times, roughly. So, six hits is almost half its durability gone. Wow. That's, um... Yeah, this... Okay. Whoever said that the spear breaks way too quickly, it was dead on. Okay, here we are at unnamed, unnamed town. This this town does have a name. Um, there's a uh, there's a, like a digital supporter pack you could you could have bought with this game, and I did. And um, the map uh, show you know the map shows the name of this town. I don't know why it's not in the game right now. I don't remember what it was. I, I like calling it unnamed. I gotta hurry up too, man. It's gonna be nighttime soon. I'll, I'll fail all these quests if I don't do it soon. All right, F5, quick save, talk to you. Can I help you with something? Hey, young man, I need your help. I'm elderly person. I'm able to craft tools. Can you please bring me an axe? I won't forget uh, to reward you for that. I think I can do that as long as it's not a metal axe. Cause I, I don't, I'm not, I don't want to go all the way home for that. Oh, three stone axes. Okay. Look, 250. By the way, this mushroom treatment gives me 150 to survival. That's really why I want to do it. Um, 250 to crafting is dope as well. All right, three stone axes. I can do that. All right, three stone axes. Oh, let me put my spear away so I don't stab you in the junk. Here's the axes you wanted. No, thank you, my friend. Okay, now we got to get back to Bororo. 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 And do that quest. Wow, we are just going to make this one. I mean, it's getting... It's getting pretty dark. I think I have till nighttime, like till I actually have to go, like till the day rolls over. So I probably have a little bit more time than it, than it seems. But um, still, I didn't want it to. I didn't want it to take this long. There we are. Okay, here's your stuff. She tried to get me to do this quest a couple times already. <clears throat> so it's gonna be nice to actually do it for. Her. Thank you. Here's a little reward for you. Awesome. Love the dynasty rep. 
Love the crafting. Where's my crafting now? Yep, crafting is almost 5,000. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, I'm looking forward to that smithy too. Although I'm not looking forward to the iron pike anymore. I don't know how much iron it takes, but, you know, two iron for like, what, 15 strikes on an animal? Seems kind of weak sauce. So, uh, the whole idea of using the iron pike is so I don't have to carry around 20 wooden spears with me. So, yeah. Well, whatever. Early access, right? They needs to do some balance. Uh, where is my dynasty rep? Um, all right, four, four, six, uh, 4,639. All right, we're getting there, man. The, the Dynasty rep, like, boosts on the generic quest was just a godsend. Like, the regular quest, like, the, like the chapter quest and stuff, when they boosted up the, the rep on the chapter quest, that was okay, but... Um, actually, it probably was better than okay. Those give, like... What is, what is this one going to give, like, 5,000? Like Dynasty Rep or some crazy number like that, but I think at some point you need. I think when you get to the po the, the soft cap of population limit, um, I think every five thousand Dynasty Rep you can recruit another person, which is never going to happen because your people are going to start having kids and you're going to go multiple steps above that rep, um, you know, request or whatever. So you'll probably need a lot more rep, and you know, I think it's going to be kids at this point. I don't think we, I think the um, recruiting days are going to be. Um, long behind us we are back in winter you know i think i built these houses during winter didn't i these houses have been here for almost a year now it's awesome people love it man people are so happy look at this look how happy everyone is except for barnum i need to like do something with this house we need to do that daub stuff at some point um yeah there's a lot of stuff we need to do uh but that is not today today we are going to be making food storage too so let's go by the way this thing's really starting to fill up um, I might throw some stone on the ground. Someone told me that they threw stuff on the ground and after an update, their stuff disappeared. But that's only one person. Every single other person I've ever talked to said you could throw stuff on the ground, don't worry about it. As a matter of fact, people are annoyed that stuff won't disappear on the ground. They're like, I remember someone saying something about, um, ugh, why am I overweight? Because of too much potage. That's a problem. Um, <laughs> that, wow, that's, that's, that's actually, that actually has two meanings. Why am I overweight? Because I'm carrying too much potage. Why am I so fat? Because I'm eating too much potage. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Well, let's put some away. Uh, we'll put this away because this is the 100%. There we go. Now we can run. Okay. So, um, yeah. Let's... Oh, we got to empty this freaking thing out, don't we? Maybe we can make the other one first and then empty that out after. Yeah. I think I want to do that if I can. Uh, storage. Food storage, too. Oh, look at this. That's a good spot for it, too. Right behind the farm. Although, the other one's by the barn. Um, yeah, whatever. I like it here. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, you know what? Never place anything down without hitting F5 first. Just do yourself the favor. You never know. Even if something looks like it's going to go down the way you want it to, don't play games. Okay. And that looks pretty good to me. Now, do I have a hammer? I do. Stop. Hammer time. All right, what do we need for this thing? Logs, 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 logs. Logs for days. That's okay, dude. I got almost 200 logs. I got almost 200 mother effing logs <laughs> in my freaking storage, man. Like, it's one of the things that's taken up the most uh, the most weight in here, other than that stone. Yeah, I'll probably throw that stone on the ground at some point. Like I said, people are like, you know, you can throw it down. I, yeah, this one guy was telling me a story. Where, all right, he wasn't telling me a story. He's talking about it in Discord. And he was like, yeah, I threw, like, soup in the river, like, ten years ago, and it's still there. <laughs> and I don't know. There's just something that cracks me up. Imagining this guy, this dude, throwing, like, a bowl of soup in the river, and it's still there after ten years. That's some, um, you know, that's some sturdy soup right there. That's some, that's some hearty gumbo. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, my goodness.
Okay, and I think we're just about done. I probably should have looked at how many logs I needed because I don't want to take more logs than I need. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take more logs than I need. I don't want to. Not, the worst thing would be not to bring enough. Um, the thing is, I really don't want to take more than I need because I'm gonna to have to transfer food over here and it's gonna make me heavier. But whatever, it's all good. It's all good. There we go. Now, is there anything else we can craft in here? All right. So it doesn't look like there's anything else we can craft in here. Um, I don't think it gives us anything extra as far as crafting goes. Uh, what is that? Um, that is the food storage too. Now, farming technology applies to buildings related to field work. Um, oh, that's talking about farming. Food, it doesn't say anything about food storage too. Does it say anything about food storage too over here? Yeah. The village's main uh, source for food. Uh, it receives food collected in the hunting lodge, fishing hut. Barn and animal buildings, it has more workers and bigger storage. Well, you don't need workers on it. The bigger storage is going to be awesome now. Um, how much bigger? Ooh, 150. Wait. Wait, they... Are they sharing? Dude, they're sharing. They're wor this is working like the, the, the resource storage thing. Wait, that's crazy. I didn't know it would do that. Oh, that's, that's really interesting. Oh, wow. Okay. See, that's weird because I don't think any of the other buildings did that. The resource storage one is the only one I know that did that. Unless I just didn't pay attention. Maybe the um, maybe the hunting lodge was sharing, you know. Oh, the pig grew up. Hold on, let me finish my thought. Maybe the hunting lodge was sharing, you know, um, inventory. Maybe the excavation site was, and I, I just didn't notice. My pig grew up. He's not a piggly wiggly anymore. He's a big pig. He's a big pig. Where's the other one? Did he grow up too? Where is he? No, that's a chicken in here for some reason. Um, did they guys? Did they guys? Did did these guys ever eat their food? No. So I don't. I don't think the animals need food because these guys aren't eating it. Yeah, yeah. And they're not laying eggs either because I don't have anyone on there. Did I get any poop? I don't think I got any poop. Would the poop go in here? I don't know where the manure would go. Is it manure or do we have to make poop out of it? I don't know. Whatever. That's not what this video is about. Um, where's the other pig? Where's your buddy? Where's your brother or your sister? Whatever the hell. Uh, sister. That way they can incest make new piggies. Incest piggies. Sounds good to me. All right. Um, so, yeah. The food storage is great. And I don't even have to move anything. I'm going to tear this one down, though, and make another one. Should I just do it right now for more food storage? I mean, is there any reason not to? All right. This has been an incredibly, incredibly productive episode, man. Getting two of these food storage up. The, you know, the this, this storage in the food storage limitation is... Um, is, is a bit of a problem. Um, I like to make a lot of food. And I want to keep it all in the food storage. But I can't. Um, a lot of it I'm going to sell. Like I make way more food than my guys will ever need to eat. But I want to sell it. Although I guess I can keep the stuff I sell in the regular storage. Um, I just feel like the food storage is always filling up. You know. And then when it fills up. You know. Things go bad. There we go. Second food storage too. Food storage two times two. Alright. So I have people gathering. Are they not going to get mushrooms and stuff? During the winter, because I don't see the mushrooms coming in here. And I thought mushrooms are food. And I thought food comes into the uh, the food storage. Uh, yeah, they're still getting... Oh, hold on. No, they're not. See? Alright, now that makes sense. That makes sense. Because how are you going to get mushrooms when they don't grow? Okay. Alright, that's cool. I'm cool with that. Alright, so what we're going to do then is we're going to go to the hunting lodge. Take it off. Take it off. And then we're going to put you guys on hunting... There you go. And hunting. Okay. So now at least they'll get, they'll get some stuff. All right. Cool, man. Food storage too. I like it. I like the fact that there's shared inventory. Like I said, the excavation shed. Um, I haven't, I've never made two barns, so I can't test that out. Uh, you know, the hunting lodge. I don't know if they share inventory. Maybe they do. I, I didn't think they did. And I never looked when I, when I had two hunting lodges, when I had two of these, um, let me know, guys. Do do the hunting lodges and stuff like that share inventory as well? Uh, this is where all my mushrooms are gone, by the way, because uh, that thing filled up at some point, I guess. And this thing, uh, well, this thing can still hold another 50, 50 uh, kilos, I guess, of um, material, of meat or food and stuff like that. All right, cool, guys. I do think I'm going to call this one here, though. If you ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.